Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2003's Transformers Armada Tidal Wave. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Patriot Prime, aren't you a G1-er? Yes I am. I am a proud G1-er. After all, there's no one like G1. But more importantly, I am a Transformers fan. And I love all the different lines of Transformers because there has been great figures in every line since G1 up until today. And Tidal Wave right here is one of those figures. Now, I used to have this guy back in the day, but unfortunately, he was part of my great Transformers purge in 2013. And man, I saw him on eBay the other day and I couldn't pass him up. He was 100% complete, and I jumped right in there and got him. And I was thrilled to death to get this guy back in my collection. Now, I didn't watch the Armada cartoon uh, when it was airing, but I do remember Tidal Wave as one of the bosses in the PS2 Transformers Armada game. I think he was actually an entire level. Optimus Prime may have been inside him in his warship mode, but... I mean, this guy is just so imposing and so awesome and enough talking about him. Without further ado, grab your nearest flotation device and get ready for the tidal wave. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Tidal Wave's alt modes are three nautical vessels. We have an aircraft carrier, a dual-bowed battleship, and a troop carrier hovercraft. So my question to you is since we already have duocons like Battle Trap and Flywheels here that are two vehicles that transform into one robot, does that make Tidal Wave a triocon since he's three vehicles that transform into one robot? dwell on that for a moment. So now, let's take a closer look at these Decepticon battleships. Now the first ship we're going to take a look at is the aircraft carrier, and I think this looks really good. There's no mistaking that that's supposed to be an aircraft carrier. It's got great sculpted details all over with minimal paint applications, but what it does have is really good. You got the red stripes here on the back and along the front and purple right there on that raised Decepticon emblem. How cool is that? I love how the old figures just have the logos molded into the plastic. Over here on the back side is the command tower or the bridge. A lot of great sculpted details on that as well, though I do wish it had some paint applications. But still, not bad looking aircraft carrier at all. Plus, it's got wheels in it rolls along really really good now the gimmick for the aircraft carrier this is an armada figure there always is gimmicks with armada is there is an elevator and a lift hid within the vehicle so you've got this little lever right here just bring this up if i can get it so this is going to come up and reveal that sticks There you go, so that's gonna lift up and reveal ramjets. That's spring-loaded right there. You've got ramjet folded up. This is Tidal Wave's Minicon. 
just fold the jet out, bring the nose cone down, fold out the wings, and there you have Ramjet. And that's a pretty cool little jet. Love the paint scheme with the purple, red, and gold. So it's kind of cool how he folds up and goes right there in that little elevator. Now, transformation to Ramjet. He's super simple. He's a minicon. Just bring the nose cone up, fold the legs down, bring the feet out, and then bring down the arms. And there you have Ramjet in robot mode. And he's kind of a lame looking robot. Great sculpted details, but man, he's just super duper plain. Articulation, he can bend his arms at the biceps and his feet can wiggle. And that's really all there is to say about Ramjet. So we'll go ahead and get him back into vehicle mode. So I can show off another thing on the aircraft carrier is there is Minicon ports. You've got three Minicon ports right here that you can attach the Minicons just like so. So you can put one here on top of the command tower or hey, he's on there tight. Put him down there like so. So you can have a few Minicons on the aircraft carrier as it goes into battle. So now let's move on to the next vehicle. Next up is the dual bowed battleship. And this one is my favorite. I think this just looks so badass. Totally armed to the teeth. Once again, great sculpted details all over this thing. It just looks awesome. Great paint applications as well with the red, the purple, the gray, the green, the kind of faded brown there on the front. You got the bridge right here on top, which is kind of contradicting down here because those look like windows. But I'm just gonna say that's the bridge right there to just show how massive this battleship is. Once again, this ship also has wheels, can travel along very easy. And the gimmicks for this is you take your Minicon, Ramjet once again, plug him here on this lever, and then you're gonna move the lever up and down and the turrets rotate. And I mean all eight of them. You got two big turrets with the dual cannons and you got these little turrets right here. I'm gonna say those are missile launchers and they rotate. So, pretty nifty little feature. Also, this ship has missiles that launch, or I guess they're torpedoes, since this is a ship. You got the torpedoes there in the front. Just flip these little red levers on the side, and off they go. So that is awesome. I love Transformers with gimmicks. You got the raised Decepticon logo right there. I love this. This one here is my favorite ship. So now let's take a look at the third and final ship. And lastly, we have the hovercraft. And this one too, covered in great sculpted details all the way around. You can tell it's a hovercraft with the, I don't know what those are called, pontoons or the airbags there along the sides. You've got the bridge right there. Minimal paint applications on this one, but what it does have looks great with the red, the black there for the bridge. There's some black, gold, and I like how the gold is faded in right there. There's also gold missiles or torpedoes right there on the wings along with some more red paint. So yeah, this thing looks really, really good. It also has wheels, a lot bigger wheels this time. That rolls right along. Now the gimmick for the hovercraft is that you can open up the top and reveal seats. Yes, seats. Just fold these down like so. And you've got two seats on either side. So once you have those deployed, you can have four Minicons just sitting down, hanging out, talking about their latest adventures or getting ready to travel in to battle. Not the greatest gimmick, but it's kind of funny if you think about it. The hovercraft also has Minicon ports here on top. You've got one, two, three, and four. So that way, if you want, you can add Minicons to the ports 
just like so just in case they don't want to sit on the inside on the seats they can roll into battle just like that so that's pretty much it for all of the individual vehicles so now let's check out their awesome combined ship mode now to combine the dark fleet into the tidal wave warship the first thing we're going to do is take the hovercraft and we're going to split it apart just like so so go ahead and put that down to the side now you're going to take the battleship here and if you look you've got this round section that's going to clip right on to the clip that was inside the hovercraft so you've got that going on go ahead and bring these back so they fit flush against the vehicle and now you're going to split the front apart and kind of angle it out this one's a little tighter than the other Go ahead and angle that out like so so you see these clips here on the inside you're going to take the battleship or excuse me the aircraft carrier bring these sections on the back down and they're going to slot in right there on those clips looks like i lost the torpedo so get those connected get everything all nice and flush we will re install that torpedo that one's on a hair trigger there we go now you're gonna flip these wings down here on the back and there you have the tidal wave warship and man i love this thing this is a beast of a vehicle and everything combines together well the collars look great the sculpted detail just carry on all over the entire vehicle from the individual ships and it just looks awesome now like i said i never really watched the armada cartoon so i'm not sure if this is a flying vehicle or a sea base vehicle but either way i could see this thing flying down from orbit landing in the ocean and there he is he's just a massive massive vehicle and of course you can add all kinds of mini cons we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten mini con ports on the vehicle it's got the torpedoes that can fire i mean this thing is just spectacular i love it it's big and beefy now it kind of droops a little bit when you hold it up but it's just the way it's pegged together and all the wheels from all the different vehicles carry over too so this thing just glides across the floor and i love it that is the coolest ship ever now let's get the warship transformed into the tidal wave robot and to do that you don't even have to take it apart go ahead and extend the back section out those will of course form tidal waves leg go ahead and fold these wings in and we'll try my best to keep this all on camera this is a big bot so you've got that going on rotate right there and now you're gonna bring the legs out rotate around so you want the brown section facing forward and of course you got the screw holes here you want to make sure those are behind the figure go ahead and bring these down flip these purple section up and out there's a toe and a heel so now we've got tidal waves legs take the front section of the ship the aircraft carrier and just pull it apart and swing all of this down you see a little peg right here that's going to line up to that slot so you'll angle that around slot that in do the same on the other side like so oh forgot something you have to rotate this section right here 180 so rotate it around that forms the robot chest now bring those sections down extend tidal waves head for the arms rotate around you'll see the elbow bend or the bicep do that on both sides these green sections here flip these down and the thumb up so you've got a hand do the same thing here and there we go tidal wave in robot mode and i am going to have to adjust this camera
And there you have Tidal Wave in all of his massive glory. This is a beast of a bot, and he just looks awesome. Love the head sculpt. He's got those evil red eyes, the crest right there. Sorry, I can't really get in close just the way the camera's set up, but I dig it. He just looks awesome. And like I said in with his massive warship mode, the colors just really work for this guy. And he's just, he's very impressive. I dig it. Cannot get him to stand straight. There we go. Now, articulation for Tidal Wave, he's a brick. The only articulation he has is the arms can do a complete 360. There is a bend at the elbow and a rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back. There is no knee bend. I guess he has waist rotation, so that's pretty cool. And really, that's it. This guy, you're not gonna get any poses out of him. He is just to stand there and look menacing. The gimmick with Ramjet works as well in robot mode. Just plug Ramjet into his chest and you can move the levers up and down, rotating the turrets. Unfortunately, the missile launchers or to torpedo launchers don't work in this mode. You can plug those in right there, but you can't aim them forward. I guess he could open his arm like so and launch to the side. But to be honest, I leave the missiles off in robot mode because they just tend to fire off when you move. I mean, the arms kind of hit the launching mechanism. So yeah, this guy is awesome. And oh, I guess there's articulation here with the thumbs and the fact he's got gripping fingers. So I reckon he could grab a Minicon if he so choose. So yes, a very imposing bot. And I love this guy. Now, another cool thing that Tidal Wave can do is the Dark Fleet can combine with Armada Megatron. And to do that, take your Armada Megatron and extend the torso. Like so, a little tight there. And then swing the turret around to the front. So we've got that going on. So Megatron is all ready. Now we're gonna take the hovercraft and split the hovercraft apart like so and swing the legs down so the clip is now facing forward and let's see let's actually we'll swing these up and then we're going to clip this on the back of megatron right there in that pole and you see megatron's got this little section that hangs down right there it's going to match up to that slot here so go ahead we'll pop that in so now that you have this going on, you go ahead and bring these down. Let's see, about right there. And go ahead and flip the wings out. So now we're gonna take the aircraft carrier here, push down on the command tower, like so. Now you have this little clip where this is gonna clip on to Megatron's arm. So you've got the clip here and that screw hole is going to line up with the Minicon peg on Megatron's forearm right there. So let's go ahead and get that attached. This is really hard to do, stretched all the way around the camera. So there we go. We've got the forearm attached. <laughs> that adds a lot of weight to more poor Megatron here. So stand up and it is not attaching. There we go. Got in place now. So now here we've got the battleship. You want to reach in, pull these little sections out. And once again, we've got the hole right there that's going to line up with the Minicon port. Go ahead and get that attached. Snap these little sections around Megatron's forearm. And there you have, that's awkward looking. There you have Megatron attached to the Dark Fleet. It's big, it's bulky, and it's weird. And his arms cannot hold up <laughs> the tidal wave extension. Of course, what's cool, he actually has a torpedo firing arm now. So yeah, it, it's something you can do. 
it's weird as hell, but it works. So there you go. There is the Megatron Tidal Wave Superbot. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 2003's Transformers Armada Tidal Wave with Armada Megatron, Cybertron Galvatron, and Shattered Glass Jetfire. 2003's Transformers Armada Tidal Wave is a great Transformers toy. This guy is tons of fun. You've got the three different ship modes, that can combine into the awesome warship that transforms into a very imposing robot. He's loaded with gimmicks and just tons of fun. And I am so glad that I have this figure back in my collection again. So there you go, guys. 2003's Transformers Armada Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave. So. Does a 2003 Transformers Armada Tidal Wave belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you're an Armada fan, most definitely you need to have this guy. And I think just as a casual Transformers fan, if you see him for a good price, don't hesitate. Jump all over this figure. Now, you do want to be aware of the missiles and the little Minicon Ramjet that he comes with. Now, if you find one that's missing the missiles, it's no big deal, especially in robot mode. But be warned, 100% complete, this guy goes for a hefty price. Now, Hasbro, I don't know if you watch my videos or not, this right here is the figure that we want as the next Titan class. I mean, you really don't have to do much to this guy, just upscale him, and that would be awesome. So in the comments section, if you want Tidal Wave as the next Titan class figure, Legacy Tidal Wave, type that in the comments section below. Hasbro, Legacy, Titan, Tidal Wave. Come on. I guarantee you that will be a huge seller from us G1ers up into the new modern fans. So, yeah, great figure. I love him. So happy he's back in the collection. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super, super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!